All right, so I'm going to be showing you three different ways you can use private browsing on the iPhone 11, 12, or any iPhone you're currently using. Now, I'm going to show you two examples for Safari, and it, maybe if you're using Chrome or another browser on your iPhone, I'll show you another example. But what you want to do is when you have Safari open up, you can long press in the bottom right-hand corner. And when you do this, you're going to have a few different options. But you're going to see the one come up that says private browsing, so you can just tab that. Now, it's automatically going to take you into a private browser, so you could you know use it this way um, another way to do this is to you know have the open tab option so when you click on the open tabs you'll be able to you know click the private browsing and open up a new browser that way so this is just kind of like a way you can do it on safari but like i said if you're using maybe like google chrome on your iphone or something else what i would recommend using is uh the brave browser so this is a really cool browser it's actually like claimed to be faster than google chrome um, but it is built on Chromium, which is kind of interesting, right? But uh, you can set up private browsing on it, and it has ad blockers, which is very unique to you know a web browser in general so you don't have to worry about like uh, ads tracking you when you're using this browser like if you go from one side to another you know for example this happens a lot when you're on facebook um and this is kind of just uh it's it's really cool um so brave it's got like i think like over 100k reviews on it i would recommend checking out brave so i will throw a link uh for brave in both the uh description and comments if you want to you know check it out it's free okay hope you guys enjoyed this um just a quick little tip here if you could smash the like button thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one